Welcome to the Digital Archives tutorial. In this video, you will learn how to access and search Ohio University Library's digital archives. The archives operate much like Alice and Articles Plus, as they are all sources to finding materials for research. What sets digital archives apart is that they specialize in primary sources. At their most basic, primary sources can be defined as first-hand accounts. First-hand means that the source directly originates from a person, organization, place, event, or time. Account refers to the format, which can exist in just about any form. Photographs, newspapers, diaries, letters, scrapbooks, official documents, artifacts, poetry, art, and even books, tweets, and other social media are all accounts which might qualify as primary sources. The Mon Center for Archives and Special Collections on the fifth floor of Alden Library is home to thousands of primary source materials. During business hours, anyone can visit the Mon Center Reading Room to examine these sources up close and in person. Ohio University Libraries have also made large collections of these sources available to anyone by creating digital reproductions. These reproductions are provided for universal viewing on the library's Digital Archives website. You can find digitized manuscript materials ranging from Civil War letters to asylum records. There are even digitized representations of the library's rare books and special collections such as medieval manuscript leaves You can also access digitized historic materials covering over 200 years of Ohio University history. This ranges from Board of Trustees minutes and historical event programs to yearbooks, student newspapers, and university sports. Let's take a closer look at Ohio University Library's digital archives and how to locate these materials online. To get started, go to the Ohio University Libraries webpage. Under the Collections tab at the top menu bar, you will find the Digital Archives link in the Digital Collections section. Now that you are on the browsing page, you will see various types of materials that can be found in digital format. Let's say you are researching the 1969 Hawking River relocation, and you need documentation and visual evidence of the Athens campus floods. To find multiple primary sources, let's do a general keyword search from the Digital Archives main page. In the box labeled, Search Ohio University Libraries Digital Archives Collections, type Floods and click the search symbol. you will see photos and newspaper reports that appear among other sources. Here is a picture of West Green having flooded in 1968. And here is a 1964 image of East Green and what today are known as the Riverview Apartments. And this view of Ohio University students perhaps doing their dedicated best to go to class during the 1963 flood. If you are looking for more substantial first-person descriptive information about a flood, try clicking on one of these student newspapers from the 1960s. And finally, if you are in search of more technical information about the damage done by the floods and the effort to reroute it, you will also find this informative brochure in the digital archives. You now have learned how to find primary sources using Ohio University's Digital Archives website. If you still have questions of how to negotiate and to find more stuff in digital archives, please contact our University Archives and Special Collections staff. This concludes the Digital Archives tutorial.